Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. I hope you like this type of content about luxury, handbags, reviews, comparisons, style, jewelry, whatever I can find in my closet of interest, I'm gonna share. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe down below, help my channel grow, help me get to a thousand, please. Um, no, I'm not gonna beg you, but I'm close to a thousand, so just, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Right below, it's easy, it's free. And if you're not new to my channel, thank you for coming back. And if you have been here before but haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I wanna to get to a thousand so I can do another giveaway. Anyway, this is an exciting unboxing. It really is. It's really, um, it's one of those purchases that you know you probably shouldn't have purchased because it was way off the charts expensive for what the item is, but it's one of those things you look at and say, oh my God, I have to have it. Just like Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, when she says, just had to have it. I just had to have it. I saw this in person uh, last weekend, Memorial Day weekend. I went shopping in Manhattan. I had a fantastic day and I met some fantastic friends. So stay tuned because that's coming next week. I have a collab coming up next week with a bunch of uh, really bad girls and we did some heavy damage in New York City. So wait for that, that's coming next week. But since I got this, I had to order it. I didn't buy it in Manhattan because um, not what I went there for but I saw it I saw I saw it I saw it Yoda Yoda I saw it but I didn't buy it but I decided when I got home to order it so I did okay if you guys have been following my channel let me find this this is an authentic I saw it in person Saw, so, there I go again. Yeah, I think Yoda is right. I say saw with an R at the end. I gotta stop, that sounds just ridiculous. I saw it in person at Louis Vuitton last week. But I was just not, oh God. I was dreaming about it. When I went home, I was dreaming about it. So I had to, uh, Oh my God, did I open this correctly? Okay, let me see, you ready? All right. Oh, all right, I wasn't even sure if this is it because I didn't realize the return address. Here we go. Well, look, it has a little uh, a little uh, signature. I've never seen that before, how cute is that? Okay, let me just get right to this. My receipt, everything in here. Um, it's, it's in this cute, cute little box. Okay, um, it's in this box. Oh, it's like one of those drawer boxes. Very cute, I didn't know they made them this size. So pretty, you don't even wanna open it, but let's, let's open it. Okay. Uh, when you see this, you're probably gonna be like, no, she did not spend her money on that. And listen, I'm not going to tell you how much it cost. It was full price, brand new at the LV site. If you want to know how much it cost, go on the site and look it up <laughs> because um, there are people around here that don't need to know how much it cost. Anyway, let, are you ready? If you've been following me, you know that I purchased something similar to this in, uh, it was a YSL, and I sent it back. It was actually half the price of this, but I sent it back because I said I, it, it didn't work. It didn't work for what I was looking for. It didn't make sense. So, um, <laughs> I saw this. And I fell in love and I know it is not worth even it's not even worth like 50% of what I paid but I'll show you how I justified this are you ready okay 
Here we go. It has something to do with what I have on my lips. Something to do with this. And something to do with this beautiful, wait, I'm not going to show you that yet. I'm wearing jewelry of the day. I haven't done that in a while. I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton top handle that goes with the trunk, papil uh, what's it called? Papillion, papillon um, bag that I have. I wear this very often, the top handle. Look at this. I wear it as a necklace because I just think it's great. So I have the papillion trunk crossbody and I have this as the, as the top handle that also doubles as a necklace. If you bought this chain alone at Louis Vuitton, it would probably cost about $500, maybe more, but I'm gonna say 500 probably the minimum. Okay, you wanna see what I bought, I know you do. Okay, you're ready. Okay, look, um, I just did an unboxing of a Christian Louboutin, um, and it was really a bizarre item that I kind of liked. And if you didn't see that, please go check that video out. But I'm telling all of you who saw that, I wrapped it up. I'm sending it back. I just, I just, I, I bought it to use inside a bag, and it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go see my last unboxing for Christian Louboutin. The title is The Weirdest Cosmetic Case Ever. Go see that. I, I, I'm returning it. I'm returning it. Um, not because everybody said it was hideous, but I, I just realized I just didn't want to spend... It was only, you know, it was half price, so it was like 350 but even for that... I have no way to display it and I'm just not going to put it inside another bag because it's going to get damaged or damage the inside of another bag. So that's another story. Okay, are you ready? I know I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Let's take this baby out. I don't know what this was made to be, but I know what I'm going to use it for. This is called the Bitsy, the Bitsy case or bitsy i don't know what look at this you ready look at this this is i don't even know what this is but i know what i'm using it for this is the i'm gonna hold on hang out don't go anywhere let me open it and see what it's called one second I have to tell you what, what the proper name is. So if you want to look for it. The Bitsy, Bitsy, P-O dot M-N-G. I don't even know what that means. Bitsy Pouch, Bitsy Pouch, M-N-G. I don't know what that means. But I know that the first uh, name is Bitsy. Look at this. When I first saw this in Manhattan, I looked at it and I said, Oh my God, that's a Winnie. That's a Winnie case. A Winnie, Winnie, Winnie for sure. And then as I picked it up and looked closer, I said, That's a Cami case. So let me just show you the outside first. It has the... Um, Oh, it does have plastic on it. It has the, um, like the trunk signature closure. You push it and it opens. On the side, it has an LV and the flower. Um, can you see that? The flower and the LV. I don't know how much this has been touched because it came from Soho, which means they sent it from the shop that I saw it in. And I tried it on, I touched it, I played with it. So I wanna make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. But in any case, so it has a little leather, the vachetta here. It opens. Do you know why I bought this? It has the little uh, charm. 
This is the bottom. Okay, are you ready now? I bought this because I want to use it as a lipstick case. Now again, it doesn't have a mirror. And lipstick cases should have mirrors. They just should. It, it just it's like it's like um what is what does Gwenny say about feet on the bottom of a bag? And I'll mention since I mentioned Gwenny, I'll put her channel down below. Um I'll mention I mentioned Winnie too. I'll put her channel down below. I'll put all my friends down below because you should go watch them. They're fantastic. Um, and you'll see a collab coming up next week with all of us. I'm not supposed to say. I'm not supposed to say. Anyway, back to this. Um, it comes with a chain. It comes with a beautiful chain. And I said, that chain looks smaller than the chain that goes with my trunk, Papillon. So what if I was to get this and use it as a lipstick case? Because I'm not going to carry it as a bag. Look how pretty though. It really is pretty. Let me close it. Look how pretty. I mean, what's going to fit in here? It's not even going to fit a card. It's not even going to fit a card. That's, you know, the, the um, micro Matisse. That's what you buy for a card. This won't even fit a card. It's really, it's so impractical, but not for me because I wanted a really bougie lipstick case. It doesn't have a mirror, but I just recently purchased, and you could see that unboxing, the Chanel mirror. So I'm always gonna have a Chanel mirror with me. I will not go out with this alone, with nothing else, because this is not even gonna hold, um, it's not going to hold a key fob. It's not going to hold a card. It's not going to hold anything. Maybe it could roll up a dollar bill and stick it in there. I don't know. In any case, it, it, it does go in the crook of the arm. I don't know why I'm showing you this. And it actually goes on my shoulder. Look at that. Look how funny. I could wear it as a shoulder bag. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Okay, listen. I didn't buy it to wear as a bag. This is what I bought it for. I am getting two for the price of one. This was ridiculously expensive. Ridiculously expensive. However, not only am I getting a lipstick case, but I'm getting a necklace too. I'll show you. So I have another piece of luxury jewelry. They don't use different metal. I mean, it's not if it's not 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, or sterling silver. It's just gold tone metal. That's it. It's probably worth ten dollars, but it's Louis Vuitton. So if you bought this alone, it would probably be. Hopefully, I can close this with no issue. If I bought this by itself, it'd probably be about four or five hundred dollars, right? Now I wouldn't layer it with this because this one is is very big so let me take this one off so you could see how pretty this is and I love the clasp you know like that Louis Vuitton necklace right here there it is I would absolutely wear this I wear the chunky one even without the bag, I wear that chunky necklace way more than I actually use the bag, which isn't really something I should be bragging about. Look at this necklace. Beautiful, right? Looks like I bought it as a necklace. Now let's see my MAC lipstick, the one that I always wear. It's the only one I wear. What if it fits in here? Of course it's going to fit in here. Perfect fit. Now, you know, this is my lip liner, my Maybelline eyebrow pencil. This fits in there too, you know, if I wanted to stick that in there also. I could probably fit a lip balm in here as well. So if I want to keep this in my bag, I could put like a chapstick in here. I could put the little uh, lip liner and the lipstick. 
I could put another lipstick, but I did not bring it with me, I'm sorry. I could fit my Chanel, my bougie Chanel lip balm with my MAC lipstick in here as well. I could also put a couple of sample perfumes in there, right? So this will definitely serve a purpose for me. Um, I, could, I would put this in my bag. There's no reason not to put this in my bag. It's really pretty. And if I want to take out, you know, reply, you know, reapply my lipstick or my lip balm, pulling this out, very bougie, very bougie. Um, my only concern is that the charms might get caught on something inside my bag or scratch, you know, scratch something, but you know, you can't have everything. Uh, yeah, look at this. What do you think? Is this totally a waste of money? You know something? <laughs> the Louboutin video, the unboxing, I asked everyone to give me their honest opinion and I always welcome an honest opinion. Give me your honest opinion about this. I will absolutely be wearing this necklace. I will absolutely put my lipstick in this lipstick case. Absolutely, I will. Um, I want your honest opinion, but it doesn't matter because this, oh, against my better judgment, is a keeper. This is a keeper. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind can I send this back. I can't. It's a keeper. Oh, thank you so much for joining me. And oh, by the way, I jewelry of the day, I didn't continue. I got my studs on, I got my wedding set, and I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton bracelet. Look at that. Matchy matchy. Have a great day, and I will see you next week. You gotta come back because it's an epic collab with the bad girls. And we have a new bad girl in our group. So you gotta come back and see, it's gonna be great. Bye.